Welcome back to another episode of M Creator Lore. So today what we're going to be working on is two new biomes. One for a uh, shrub kind of biome with ivy and then there will be another one with the like rose bush or something like that. So I wanted to create the textures first, get this all set up and then we could bring it into um, block bench and create a actual texture or model for the actual block. Once I had the actual texture ready, I wanted to adjust the hue a little bit and then also design some rose flowers on the actual texture to kind of differ from the original ivy texture. Uh, I was just playing around with the shading and seeing what would look best with the um, actual texture and stuff like that. And then I was playing around with uh, some another shade of the pink that would kind of give it a little bit extra detail. The next step was to actually design a block that will kind of act as a shrub bro shrubbery block. So I wanted a full cube and then have some detail on the exterior of the block to kind of overlap and stuff like that. So I had to uh, design it in such a way that it would not have flickering textures and stuff. So what I ended up doing was basically going ahead and... Um, well, I was experimenting with different designs and stuff here, so I didn't know exactly what I wanted uh, to do. I thought maybe just like a pane like this, but I had to redesign my texture for the, the leaves. So I needed to expand the leaf part by two pixels so it would stand outside of the block. Right now, the, the image that I was using before was 16 by 16, but I needed a little bit larger to actually have proper sizing, so that's what I did. And finally what I could do was expand this by two pixels all the way around and basically go ahead and see what it would look like. Now this was just the beginning, I needed to also make sure that the leaves were um, on all sides so it actually looked, you know, like edge decor, like cactuses. One of the important things was to offset the panes uh, inwards so it could fix a flickering issue. Next, what I needed to do was import the assets for the textures as well as the models. And then we could start using the actual assets that we created, so in our project. Next, what I did was I created the blocks for both the ivy and the um, actual um, flower one and then I set up the properties that I wanted for those particular blocks so I needed it on cutout and I gave it water logging just in case it needed uh, it for the leaves one of the things that I wanted to do for the block was create a placement condition so that it will kind of break on its own and know when to what places are placeable for the actual block uh, I basically played around with some things I wanted to actually make a tag for the both of the the two types of blocks um, one being the actual roses and one being the ivy and then I wanted to make sure that the block could expand off of uh, the current block now we're, we'll be going into the later mechanics in next episode so uh, we'll be making the ivy and stuff and the rose bushes kind of expand over time um, on a random tick update so it will uh, match the world but this will help so i needed to cr uh, duplicate the block and then the things connected to the block so the placement condition so we could basically set up the rose bush part i changed some of the settings so it would better fit the rose bush itself Next, I needed to set up the actual tags. So I created a tag for both of the blocks and then I could actually use that in the procedure. I did mess up the name, so I had to refix that uh, later on in the actual placement condition script, but that's basically it. I then needed to actually make the structures. So I went ahead and basically placed down some of the blocks and then I wanted to design it in such a way that it would uh, actually look like a bush to start with and then it will kind of expand off of that. Uh, another thing that I needed to do is make sure that the area was filled in with structure void blocks for any air blocks like grass and other blocks that need to take priority over the spaces that are around that particular cube. 
and I did this for both of the um, both blocks as well as made sure that they had uh, some variance on size as well. The next major task was actually importing the model or the structures that I made in the Minecraft world so we could actually use that in the structure files. The next thing that we actually needed to do was uh, create the biomes themselves so they would basically generate and then I needed to set some of the properties but I needed both of the biomes first so I just duplicated a couple of the other ones that we had before the flower biome and the grass biome so we had something to work with. So the next step that what I wanted to do was basically adjust the settings for both of the new biomes so we could basically go ahead and make sure that it will actually generate, you know, somewhere in the world. And I just wanted to shift some of the values just a little bit uh, for the erosion. Next, I added the biomes to the dimensions so we could actually generate them in the world. Next, what I wanted to do was create the structures so that they would generate in the biomes that we wanted. Uh, we will be expanding this um, in the next video as well. I want to actually make the placement a little bit more realistic, so I'm going to use my script that I created. A lot of people still say that it doesn't work, which is kind of funny, is because they just don't understand the how the script actually works and stuff. But I've, I've used it in my mods before, and I know that it works perfectly fine, and it's, it's, it's kind of funny. But we'll be using the same script, so um, that will kind of debunk, I guess. <laughs> So while testing in game, I noticed that the new biomes actually didn't have any grass spawning in them. So I had to fix that uh, with the feature element uh, where the grass is determined to generate. So. so all we needed to do was open up the feature, add them to the list of biomes to spawn in. After I did that, I noticed that all the actual foliage was generating properly, so that was great. I was happy with the results, so I just wanted to quickly teleport to a place that I knew that had the rose bushes to kind of see how the biomes like intermix and stuff like that. So uh, once I got there, I could actually see the a few different other biomes as well, not just the rose bush ones. We got the flower biome here. There's uh, some flower biome with the rose bushes, so it kind of blends in nicely with that particular biome. And um, over towards the coastline, we have the uh, ivy bushes and just regular grass here. So that's basically how it generates. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, that's the blocks, so there's no flickering textures with that. There is a little bit of shading issue. Uh, that's just because it's outside of the actual cube location, so... There's not much we can do to fix that, but it adds a little bit extra detail to the blocks themselves to kind of give it a little more uniqueness uh, rather than just a solid block. So uh, generally you don't want to do like go outside, but outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and peace out.